great confidence in myself and the equipment and the team, but there's always that unknown. There's always something that you may not have covered. At 50,000 feet, Kittinger hit a snag. The glove on his rudimentary spacesuit sprang a leak. Now, what that meant was that the blood would pool in my hand and it just continuously pool and pool and pool. But I didn't tell my flight surgeon because I didn't want to worry him. And I also felt that if I had told him that he would probably made me abort the flight. And I, I felt that reasonably certain that I could survive uh, not having a pressure suit uh, glove on my right hand. So I continued on. Overhead, the sky was black as it could be. Uh, I couldn't see any stars, but it was that black. An hour and a half after liftoff, Kittinger reached 103,000 feet. I was up on a porch. I was the highest step in the, in the world, looking down on, on our planet. I could see the clouds below and the atmosphere, the, the haze layer. It was a, it was a, a very profound feeling that I had. Uh, and, and the realization of really just how hostile that environment is. And it's only 20 miles above our Earth. The air outside looks the same, but there's nowhere there. It's like being in, a, in an environment that's cyanide, that you take one whiff and you're dead. Just 20 miles down, there was, there was safety and, and comfort and an environment that, that man is used to. Kittinger spent just 11 minutes in that netherworld on the brink of space. And then he prepared to return. So I took that final look around. I said my silent prayer. I hit the button to start the cameras working. And I jumped from the gondola. <laughs> earth for a little ways and I had really no sensation of falling because I had no uh, no visual reference of anything so I thought I was really suspended in space and I turned over my back uh, about this time and I looked up and the balloon was racing into the heavens I mean at a fantastic rate to me it was just flying away and what it was the balloon was standing still and I was the one that was falling so rapidly fell to earth at the speed of sound, but with no air around him, it was a silent fall. I had no ripple of the of the fabric, uh, my pressure suit, and I, I, it was a very weird sensation. After four minutes of falling through space, Kittinger began to re-enter the protective blue haze and was hit by the familiar world of cloud, sky, and air. 